Well, welcome everyone to an off-season men's basketball chat. I'm Andy Katz here for the Big Ten Network with Dana Altman, head coach of Oregon, as the Ducks enter the Big Ten in all sports. Uh, first off, Dana, how many conferences have you coached in? Ooh, let's see. Uh, Southern Conference at Marshall, Big Eight, Kansas State, uh, Missouri Valley, uh, Pac-10, Pac-12, and now the Big Ten. So getting five or six. All right. And I would argue this is probably the first time you've been in an 18-team conference uh, this spread out. So um, what will make this one potentially the most challenging of all conferences that you've coached in? Well, first of all, you know, for basketball, great venues, uh, great coaches. You know, you look around and a lot of those guys have – been at those institutions a long time and have had a great deal of success. Uh, so competition will be great. The environments will be great. Um, the travel is a little concerning, um, you know, making five trips cross country in January, February, and March definitely will be new for us and challenging. Um, you know, those schools got to come over one time to either LA or to Washington and us. Uh, so it's a little easier on them than, making those four trips during the regular season and then the, the conference tournament. I have told everyone that wasn't as familiar with Oregon, that your teams consistently get better throughout the course of the season. And you always have sort of long bigs that can uh, rim protect and run the floor really well. Um, in this first edition in the big 10, how much will this team led by Jackson Shelston, who's had a phenomenal summer, uh, be sort of, uh, you know, in, in line with what you produced in the past in Eugene? I think there'll be a lot of similarities. Uh, we have six guys back who three of them were out for the year with injuries, but the other three, you know, Jackson started for us. Uh, Bam, Tracy started for us, and K.J. Evans was a starter. So we were starting two freshmen, and, and Bam is a junior college transfer. Uh, we lost two really good players in, in Folly Dante and Jermaine Cousnard, who, you know, led us to, uh, you know, a nice finish. Um, so we definitely going to miss those two guys. But those six guys coming back and we brought in some portal guys, uh, transfers that have a lot of experience. Brandon Angel, who was at Stanford, uh, who we played against and he kicked us pretty good. So it's better to have him joining us. TJ Bamba. Who, who came in from Villanova but was at Washington State. Uh, Raheem Moss from Toledo, uh, well-coached uh, ball team there. Todd does a great job. Uh, so, And then Supreme Cook from Georgetown was a late addition uh, when the NCAA denied in Folly Dante an extra year. So I think we got things in place. Uh, we're going to have to stay healthy this year, but I like the guys we got. All right, non-conference wise, you've never been afraid to go out of you know out of the area. You know, you played Michigan, you played plenty of schools across the country, uh, and then before you got to the Pac-12. Now you have a monster conference season, um, maybe even more difficult made by the travel. What have you put together non-conference wise to prep you before you get into the Big Ten? Well, Andy, we're we're going to the tournament uh, down in Vegas um, with. In our bracket, Texas A&M, Creighton, uh, I think are projected top 20, 25 teams, uh, and then San Diego State. It's an easy trip for us, and I've, I've been a little bit more conscious of, of the travel in the non-conference. Uh, we're, we're trying to get Stanford on the schedule, and Oregon State definitely will be on the schedule. Um, there's a rivalry there, and our people in the state want to see that game, Andy, so we'll definitely play that. Um, so... You know, those are five games that, you know, are going to be challenging. And we're still looking at one more yet uh, that we're trying to get worked out. But hopefully everything will come together and, you know, we'll have a competitive non-conference. But again, I was very conscious of the travel. Uh, we, we had, we've got invited to, you know, to go to the East Coast a lot <laughs> and, uh, and play. And I said, I, I don't think we want to add another trip. All right, which venue – are you looking forward to coaching in that you've never coached in before? Oh, well, uh, never been to Wisconsin. You know, we've played Greg's team, uh, you know, some, and we've played Wisconsin 
three NCAA tournaments. So, I mean, we kind of. And the to, NIT. And the NIT, yeah. Um, so, um, you know, Purdue, I was an assistant at Kansas State. We went up there and got kicked one year. Um, so I know how tough that is. Uh, haven't been to Indiana. You know, there's some traditional places. You know, everybody talks about Rutgers and how hard it is to play. Uh, Nebraska, Fred's done a great job. The, the crowd's there, you know, trying to really pick up Nebraska. So that's been good. I've, I've played at Iowa before uh, when I was at Creighton. Um, so, you know, a lot of good venues. Uh, haven't been to Ohio State. Uh, been to Michigan. Uh, we played Michigan State on a neutral court. So, you know, that's heard great things about that. So a lot of great venues, a lot of great tradition. Never played at Illinois, you know, and, and uh, everybody talks about that. So, uh, like I said, it'll be a lot of firsts for our program. Um, and and we're looking forward to the new challenge. Uh, All right. Pac-12 so was great to us, but we're looking forward to this new challenge. Last two things for you. First off, new painted floor at Matthew Knight Arena um, for the Big Ten fans that aren't familiar with games in Eugene and the teams and coaches, what should they expect when they have to go to Eugene? Well, you won't face the snow uh, <laughs> and uh, the temperatures will be in the high forties and the fifties. Uh, so the weather's going to be a lot better. You might have to put up with a little mist, you know, it, it doesn't really rain hard, but it does mist during the winter. Um, you know, our crowds are good. Um, you know, we've we've won at home. College basketball is a home court sport, and and we've been okay at home. Um, you know, I I think the people enjoy the trip. You know, it's a, a great venue. The city's nice. Uh, the food's good. So uh, they get us in Seattle on a road trip. So, you know, I think they'll enjoy it. And last thing before I mention Jackson, he had, what, 72 in a, in a summer game. Um, I think he enters the Big Ten as – a potential all big 10 player uh, for those that have not seen him. What are they going to see this upcoming season? Well, first of all, that 71 points was really bad basketball. Uh, first of all, <laughs> but he can score. Uh, you know, he did a nice job for us last year and uh, uh, we definitely are counting on him to have a, a big sophomore season. You know, I usually the biggest jump for any players between their freshman and sophomore year. You know, that's where you really look. They kind of get a feel for things. They know how how hard they have to work. They got a feel for your program. Uh, so the biggest jump we've experienced with our players is always between that freshman and sophomore year. So if he makes that jump, which he's given us every indication that he's going to, he works hard. Uh, we're, you know, working out four hours a week, and, and he's done a, a really good job there. So... I anticipate he'll have a, a really good season for us, and and we need him to. Like I said, all six of the returners, we need to stay healthy, first of all, but, you know, we need them to, you know, be the core of our team. You know, I know everybody talks about the portal and the new guys, but your core guys are the guys that are coming back. You know, they know you. They set the tone. Those guys were in the NCAA tournament with us. Um, you know, so – won a conference tournament with us. So those guys know who we are and what we're trying to do. They got to pass that on to the new guys. And so even in this day of NIL and portal and a lot of new guys on our team, I still think the core is the guys coming back. And uh, we've got a lot of experience coming in from the portal, which I we really desperately needed. But, you know, how well we do, a large part is going to be those six guys guys that are returning can't wait uh thrilled that you're uh in the league here and we just can't wait to follow you guys uh here at the big 10 network appreciate your time well andy i appreciate it and we're looking forward to the challenges